Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2, Vietnam, and uh, this time you can click an interesting button. <clears throat> yes, fully embrace Western ideas. Wagons West. So now we shall be a Western power. There we go. So we have a lot of good stuff. Now, uh, we do have these return, return cores decision. We can sign the Geneva Convention. Sure, we just lose an infamy point. Choose a tech school, release vassals, return cores, all these things. We can do all of them. Uh, we should do a tech school. So apparently... Intelligence, yeah, corporate industrialism. I think we should take the military industrial complex. We need to have a higher military score than 100, though. Sad. And at least 45 prestige. Well, 45 prestige should not be difficult to acquire. Anyway, we can now finally research things, which is like, wow. Wow. Uh, we gained every, well, most level 1 things, uh, ooh, which means we can do railroads. And we can do factories. Okay, so... Oh, actually, someone is already building a cement factory. That's because of um, a thing we took. Anyway, we are gonna do... Where's the railroads? I haven't played this game so long. Wait. We lack uh, stockpiles. Also because of the... Let's see. Infrastructure map mode. Okay, we can expand it here. And here. And here. And here, essentially in the flatlands, we can expand it. What this also means is that now that we are fully westernized, we can do some extra things. Well, for example, our income is going to be a lot better because of different efficiencies being up. We can construct things, like factories. We can also use some new CBs, although uh, relations are too high. So start to decrease relations with China. Unfortunately, we can't do that yet with Cambodia because they're our sphereling, or not our sphereling, they're, they're our puppet. And also, we should have a little bit of an improved... Yeah, we, we have a much better improved access to the market. As you can see now, our infantry and artillery that before were taking forever to build, now uh, they're building a lot quicker because of our market. Also, yeah, modern winemaking, the spirit of freedom, we're gonna start to get a lot of inventions. We can take loans too, which is pretty good. Yeah, overall, we're just... We, can, we just have access to every feature of the game at this point. Before, we were really severely gipped, but now... Now... There's also some crises happening. Uh, crises are essentially when great powers are like, this should not be one way or another, you know, um, like for example, th these two over Somalia land, it's like the British are like, this is our colony, the Germans are like, this is our colony, and they're, you know, trying to see if they're gonna have a diplomatic solution or a military one. We're gonna see about that. We want West Borneo to have more intellectuals. Also, now we can encourage craftsmen, uh, which are laborers that end up building or uh, working in factories. As you can see, we already have seven unemployed craftsmen in Tonkin. That is because we are building a cement factory, so they're kind of attracted to that. Sawmill. Glass factory. So what do we export? We export tropical wood, tobacco, and coffee. So we could make factories that have to do with coffee, tropical wood, and uh, um, tobacco. That is essentially like how factories work, because if we go ahead and take a look at our... Where is it? Culture... Well, let's check out cultural... We're actually starting to get some Vietnamese all over, I think. And that should increase now that we are in the industrial age. Uh, anyway, uh, what I wanted to do was check out... Where is my resource map mode? Maybe it's in region? No, that's states. RG output. Okay. 
So, yeah, for example, like in Hanoi, we have tea, we have coffee. So if we, in this state, Tonkin, if we build factories that have to deal with tea, coffee, grain, and tropical wood, uh, we're gonna be, essentially, uh, it's gonna be easier for us. And it's gonna have a increased efficiency. Uh, now, tropical wood, I believe, is like luxury fur a furniture factory or something. This just requires normal wood. So far, we can only build sawmill, cement factory, and glass factory. Although, I guess we could also build... Yeah, we could also build wineries, paper distilleries, all of these things, if we had the money. Glass factory. What does this require? Coal. Unfortunately, we do not possess any coal, which is a bad, bad thing for our industry. What factories can you build with tobacco, though? I forget. I think cigars or something. But yeah, there was a factory that requires that. But unfortunately, I don't have that yet. Liquor distillery, cement, and glass. Are we producing wood? Just regular old wood, not tropical wood. We are producing... Ooh, is that silk? That is silk. Ooh, very good. So we can... We can build factories that have to do with silk. Right, because wood is only down here. That's sad. So I guess uh, it's not a good idea to build sawmills for us. So that's luxury cloves, right? That's for silk. Whereas normal cloves is just that. Okay, I feel like if we if we save up, you know, enough for a luxury clothes factory, we're gonna make the mo the monies. Uh, also, if I recall correctly, the glass factories are just always pretty good. Oh, allows furniture factory. Is that gonna be just normal wood? It is. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna unlock new factory types as we go on, because of course, you know. Gendarmerie. Because, of course, now that we have civilization, a lot of these, um, we have a lot of these texts that have inventions, so we can, hmm. interestingly enough, artillery factory is in here. Great. Uh, once we have these inventions, we can, you know, do a lot more things. And, oh, right, we actually need to set a research. Uh, I think I am going to go down armaments first. Or maybe, no, 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 no. What I need to do first is I need to take idealism, empiricism, analytical philosophy, and the phenomenology, and uh, hermeneutic, whatever. Because once we take all of these, we can uh, increase our research point production. And that's, of course, should be uh, the focus at the start. Now we also have a lot more different events because we are westernized. For example, we have, uh, you know, like politics happen. Like, for example, here there's the Chartists, you know, extension of voting privileges, such and such and so on and so forth. So we can just say it's fine and uh, people will become more liberal, which is okay. Looks like the British got their way there. Okay. Dismantle fortifications, punitive expedition. What does that do? Force a country to negotiate an unequal treaty, which includes a treaty port if there is one available. Oh, boy. We could try to take treaty ports from China. I'm not sure that would be the best idea right now, because our army still isn't all that good. We still only got five techs, you know? We may be much, 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 much stronger than we used to, but... I'd still rather be careful with what I do. Be very, very careful. We're at least building our factories and our railroads, so making very, very strong stuff. Oh, this actually requires regular clothes. It's okay. Regular clothes are not that expensive. So now we're gonna really start to pour on those factories. We don't have the best country for industrialization, but it's better to have imperfect industrialization than no industrialization. Also, what this allows us to do is to build bloody canned food factories, which uh, is gonna be a lot easier 
you know, it, with which is going to be a lot easier to actually build troops because so far that's actually been one of the problems with uh, our army expansion that we just don't have canned food. I know it sounds retarded, but that's the way it is. Now, first, perhaps we should take over Cambodia. We enable, we enable release vassals. We can get, grant Cambodia independence, which is gonna, ooh, it's gonna lose our prestige. That's not good, but we're gonna gain it back by killing them, and they're neutral with everyone. Good. So we, they should not. I sure hope that I don't get um, a truce with them, because that would be bad. Oh, they're they're our allies. Oh wait, what? Did not decrease relations. Oh no, it did. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, never mind. No, no, no. I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting that one fucking bit. I am not fucking accepting that. I am sorry. That is just bullshit. That is just absolute fucking bonkers bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for safes coming, but that's gonna have to be done. For the greater good. That's bullshit. That is just not what was planned. <laughs> the French just annexed that. Apparently they have a uh, they have a decision to annex Cambodia if it's not a uh, satellite of someone. Ah well, whatever. I guess we're gonna have to think about China. Only China. Uh, because, yeah, right, uh, in case you haven't noticed, the British have annexed the Siamese, so that's not very good. Uh, now we essentially don't have any more quote-unquote natives around us to kill, except for the Chinese. They're the only uncivilized nation. They are the only uncivilized nation, so... Ooh, explosive factories. I wonder what those require. I like to blow things up. Uh, they require ammunition and sulfur, right? I think that's sulfur. If we look at our... Where's the RGO output? Don't think we have any sulfur anywhere. Oh yeah, right. Uh, we do have wood. Right. Forgot about that. So, sawmill in Borneo. We're gonna encourage some craftsmen in uh, Hanoi, I guess. Or, I guess we could encourage capitalists. So that I hope, hopefully, some capitalists will start to spawn and they will start to build factories for us, you know? Ooh, declaration of the rights of man. That is not... <laughs> that is... Yeah, there's some inventions that are good. That's one of the things I love about Victoria 2. Some inventions are good and some inventions are bad. And uh, they're bad as in they make things harder for you, such as the declaration of the rights of man. And, ooh, craftsmen... Yeah, well, there's no craftsmen and clerks there, so... Yeah, like the spirit of freedom. So that's gonna make Jacobin le rebels essentially liberal... Uh, democratic liberal l rebels a lot more, you know, effective. Because, uh, you know, they know what these things are. Like, they know what communism is. They know what nationalism is. So, yeah. So they're gonna be a lot more uh, willing to get themselves involved in that stuff. Enforce the Vietnamese curricula. Yes, thank you, please. Assimilation rate. That is very good. Is the Qing Empire in the sphere of anyone? No. We could justify wars on you. Uh, the Greece... <laughs> Greece goes bankrupt! <laughs> the Greeks better pay their debts. Of course, we're not gonna uh, enforce those Cassus bellies, but it's still hilarious. That is so great. I love that. Cuirassiers. Ooh. So now we can get better cavalry. My cuirassiers compared to cavalry just have a lot more attack now, do they? Uh... United Kingdom, that's fine. We have good relations with the United Kingdom. What do Curious Sears require, actually? 
Steal regular cloves and canned food. Yeah, we can we can buy regular cloves, it seems. It's just the canned food. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we can't take their states, which is just very annoying, because I would have loved to just take their states. Because, uh, you know, we actually border them, so it would make sense for us to take that. Anyway, um... We'll cut down to size. Disarm and pay reparations to us. Oh, China would pay many reparations, because China is big. It's big. So it would actually help us kickstart our economy very greatly if we justify the cut down to size. They pay like 50% of their taxes or something. I know because I have been cut down to size, so I remember that. Humiliate, how much prestige will that, will that give us? I'm not sure. Yeah, I might like want to... Also, maybe unequal treaties will give us, um, you know... Ooh, Qingdao is uh, German, and uh, Wei Highway is uh, British. Also, these treaty ports do have good productions, usually. Like, Wei Highway has uh, tea. Hong Kong has gold, precious goods. Macau has precious goods, you know? They're pretty good. They're useful. So yeah, we're gonna have to... Well, not have to, but it would be good for us to make a foray into that. And wait, are there only two states showing up? What? Seems to be bugged. That's probably because it's sh only showing states where there's factories, right? So, um... No projects, unfortunate. So can I... Yeah, show empty state. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Uh, then what was I doing the last time? I was trying to make a... Right, am I baking that? No. What I want to do is I want to... Oh, that did not refund me the money! That is retarded. Because I want to make the luxury clothes factory where there's actually silk. With uh, Tonkin, I wanted to do the cannery. Right. Makes sense. And yeah, now we're fully into the game. And like, our bonuses are gonna start to stack up so much that soon enough the chain will be a very, very easy target for us. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with Cambodia and hope that there's, at some point, some kind of... Um, decision to annex people. Anyway, um, we might have to reduce some taxes on people so that they're less pissed. Repay that loan. Even B. We gained the repay depths, Cassis Belly, on Greece. Anyway, now we have our first factory, I believe. Yes, it is a cement factory in Tonkin. It is not productive at all because we lack bloody coal. So that is going to be a problem. Also, looks like uh, getting capitalists doesn't really make that much sense. We're going to encourage uh, craftsmen so that we actually start to get people working in those factories. There we go. Get working. Yeah, you do have wood, so you can you can start to employ people relatively safely, and it should be it should be working. Then uh, after I have it was an Annam, right? That I wanted to build the yes Annam that I wanted to build luxury clothes. There we go. Starting to industrialize. Now I get idealism, which uh, can give us early archaeology, neo. Neo-Kantian idealism, Hegelian idealism, and proto-existentialism. So idealism is like the idea that ideas are like what brings history forward. Pretty much. It, there's more to it, but 
That's what we're gonna go with. Proto-existentialism. Glorious. Not very. <laughs> Existentialism is kind of edgy. And uh, soon enough we're gonna be ready to attack the bloody chain. So that's pretty great. Speaking of... Uh, okay. Are we building those railroads? Yeah, slowly but surely, we are getting railroads. I hope that the great powers will start to actually invest in uh, railroads for us. What would a naval base allow us to do? Probably not much. Okay. So, other than that... And what are we producing? Right, we would probably want to have uh, a clothes factory, which requires cloth, but we don't have any cloth, which is fucking annoying. Probably the global market for cloth is a lot better than the one for clothes. Though, because I'm guessing that cloth is produced a little bit more. And the reason I, why I want a regular clothes factory is because I have a luxury one, so... Probably a good idea to get that. Uh, what else could we build? Right, Laos is the one with the luxury wood, but um, don't have any factories that utilize that. This is fruit, grain, and glass for liquor. Winery is fruit and that. Oh, the Japanese better pay their debts. No, I think I'm just gonna let them go. Now, there's a lot of people that take money from us. It's hilarious. Oh, we can do clipper shipyards. How useful in 1894 to do ship sail ships. How useful. Oh, we've got a lot of socialists. Man, I can't wait to have that cannery up and running. Really now? <laughs> Haiti. Bloody Haiti. You're in the sphere of the United States. So I guess, um, I guess we're not attacking them. What is that Cuban flag? My god. You know, we could, like, attack Ecuador or something. I was thinking about that. But, no, I think that we don't have, like, the naval tech to get our ships over here. Because it's way too far away. And we're not even a secondary power, so we can't colonize anything, and not that there's anything left to colonize in our neighborhood. So yeah. I think Hawaii has been axed by the US, right? Yes. The Bourbon Democrats, so they're conservative. Trouble in Isan. Oh, less uh, flashpoint tension. Good. Oh, we're starting to get railroads. So we're starting to get some industrial power because of uh, liberers. You know, having people actually working in factories is what gives you industrial power and not the other thing. Why are you not getting that many employees, Borneo? I'm pretty sure it's because they're pissed. Ooh, crap. That's not good. Um, give me, like, clipper transports. <laughs> It's time to get transports back up. Because we need to kill reactionaries. Oh boy, looks like the Italians have socialism. That's the first great power of the socialists in uh, control, I believe. They're all conservative. Ooh, pan-Slavic. So, the Russians are still reactionary. Russia's probably falling behind the other great powers in some aspects. Oh, the Qing Empire seems to have declared war on... Uh, that's the Sino-Japanese War. But the Japanese are allied to the British, so apparently the Sino-Japanese War includes... Includes, um... Britain. So, things are about to go very wrong for China. It's our time. It is our time. Peace in our time. I hope that we're building our clippers. Ah, uh, leper exposed. 
Yeah, sure, fine. Be in favor of free press. It is okay. Right, um, now our politics actually matter in some way. Uh, but we have state capitalism with our... Um, yeah, because we don't want laissez-faire economy. Because we can't build factories with that. So we need to... Uh, we need to not have the liberals in power just at all costs at this point. Everything else is fine. Um, production. Right, you're starting to get that. Although cement factories, I mean, eh, they're relatively profitable when they have the coal. But they don't have the coal, almost never. So no. Uh, when, where should we build our next factories? Yeah, right, because I think in Laos, people would not really want to work there either. But there are some Vietnamese people in Laos, in Luang Prabang. And that's the tropical wood province. It's explosives and steel. It's unfortunate we don't have iron to build uh, steel factories. That is very, very unfortunate. Uh, this is actually sulfur, not this. This is what? What the hell is that? I wish it was a little bit more clear. So I'm building a cannery, clothes factory, a luxury clothes factory. But does ammunition factory require ooh, steel and uh, sulfur? Like, what do we already import? We already import clothes, wine, and, or sorry, liquor and paper. Paper, eh? Might as well just do a paper factory. Or, sorry, I think it's not called paper. Oh, it's fertilizer! That's what that was. Anyway. What's paper? Um, seriously, where's paper? Paper maker? <laughs> is there anything like that? That does not make any sense, to be honest. Why is there no paper factory? I feel like that would be useful. I appear to be very retarded. Anyway. What else are we importing? So government needs ammunition. Population needs ammunition. <laughs> Looks like our people need to shoot people. Uh, population needs airplanes. The United Kingdom produces airplanes in 1895. Well, interesting. Common market. Yeah, available is tobacco, coffee, tropical wood, tea, grain, opium, <laughs> wood, lumber, fertilizer. That's because we're producing that. Paper. I wish that I knew how I could produce paper. Machine parts, iron. Yeah, this would just require... You know, can you, like, trade with iron? Steel is not in high demand. Glass is not in high demand. Fuel is in high demand, but, you know, coal, high demand, sulfur is in high demand, so probably not. Uh, rubber is in high demand, tropical wood, wool. And we are out of time for today, actually. So I want to thank you all for watching, hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. I'll try to figure out off-screen which factories would be best for me to invest on, and uh, yeah, hope you have a good day.